Hi, I'm Wendy Weir with Liberty, and uh, great to be able to see you today. I am here in Ojai, California, where I've been for a few months while we work on the business in Southern California. And uh, Ojai is the place that I've chosen to uh, actually uh, live in for, for a few months while we do this, working with our reps and uh, going to different shows and meeting people. So it's been a lot of fun. But Ojai is filled with all sorts of wonderful spiritual opportunities. And one of them is the Cretona Institute. And that is the Theosophical Society. It took me a minute to get my mouth around that word. The underlying belief there is that we are really responsible for our own view and outlook on life and that we are all connected. And the belief system that we are all connected means that whatever we do has an impact, um, you know, more than just our life. So how we are in our world uh, is really important relative to how we are in the world in general and the way we interact with our world. And thus people that come into contact with us, they too will either have the benefit of how we are at a peaceful moment or when that's not so much happening. So there was a beautiful plaque that uh, I read as I was walking into the garden here and it is a gorgeous garden. Um, you know, anyway, I, I tried to pick a bit of a spot where I've got all these beautiful purple flowers down the side. So I love gardens. And uh, anyway, it's a beautiful rose garden, beautiful view. What I also wanted to talk to you about is that uh, with the idea that we are all connected and that that philosophy and underlyingness you know, when the rumblings of the world are going on, sometimes the rumblings of the world affect us. And uh, that's where I wanted to bring in the idea of tea moments as to, you know, there's a place of a little bit of peace and solace and uh, that we can move inside and find that place of peace with a tea moment. So no matter whether the world seems to be going by too fast, there's things going on around you that, you know, you're just not in agreement with or, you know, they're really uh, just not, not making you happy. Uh, there's a way to reset yourself. And the resetting of yourself is understanding that you do have the opportunity for an inner experience. And that is a tea moment. So why don't we just do that for the moment? As long as you're not driving or something like that, let's just close our eyes and breathe in through the nose. Nice big count of three or four down into the belly and then ha. Ah, you know when you sigh on the way out it lets out a lot so you'll be even more peaceful if you can exhale with a good sigh. One more. And right into that belly. And I do love threes. I think there's something magical. So one more. Well, I don't know about you, but I certainly feel better. My shoulder's a little bit further down. Um, sometimes I can be in a rush. It's kind of one of those habits that I have. Although, uh, trying to change that, so I was a, a little late in getting here, so getting settled. I also wanted to talk about uh, this morning, you know that idea that when we do feel a little bit jangled and the idea that we have solace, so... You know, there can be things that are going on around us that we're not keen on. And I guess one of the things that I'm finding right now is, wow, it's already June. That means that half of 2018 is just about through. And that kind of blows my mind. So I was like, of oh, course, I don't have what I wanted to have done by now. And uh, just feeling like it's a little all up in the air and that I definitely need to, uh, you know, start doing a few things differently, which I'm reflecting on. And I find that going back in to the place of those tea moments is really a great spot to be when all of a sudden my world is just like, wow, what happened? What's going on? You know, it wasn't quite the way I thought it was going to be. So I, I invite you. I invite you to always remember, no matter 
the uh, experience that you're having in the external world, whether it's expectations of yourself or, you know, the outside world that's impacting you, the bigger challenges of this world, which are large, and we can all do our part. Uh, but I guess that's really the whole thing. We have a place of peace inside. I invite you to visit it more often. And so a few tea making tips. Uh, the tips went over well last week, so I thought I'd add a couple more on this week. And one of the things that I find is people sometimes aren't really too aware of how the water temperature affects your tea in the biggest of ways. Now, especially green teas or white teas, they're a little less delicate, they're a little less processed. And so in that, if you get a really hot water, like a boiling water, you're actually going to burn the teas and make those teas bitter. So a better for a better cup of tasting tea. I'm going to suggest that you use much less temperature on your water. So not boiling. So I'm kind of a fan of green tea. And so this is something that I learned early on. And what I do now is for matcha and white tea, which I think is really the most delicate of teas. And in fact, a cold brew will actually bring out the sweetness. Try it sometime. Put some leaves in your glass. Put the water in and then pop it in the fridge overnight. It is truly delicious, almost sweet. But if you're looking for a warm cup of tea, let's say in the morning, boil the water until you start to see the steam coming off. When you really see that the steam is evident, your water's done. You don't need to keep it boiling. Really, only a black tea really needs that. So I strongly suggest that you dial down the temperature. If you want to get precise, there are kettles out there that actually will boil you to a certain temperature. But you'll get to know, and by the sound of the water, and by looking at how much steam. So a few tea-making tips. Cool down your water. Enjoy your tea more. Keep the healthful benefits in there. And ensure that it's not bitter. Many, many peaceful tea moments this week. May your world be well. May you always know that there's a place of refuge inside in your own place of peace. And best wishes for a great week. Bye-bye now.